Hi, my name's John Pierce, and I'm a speech pathologist and aphasia researcher from Australia. Um, and with me today is Kathy Austin. Hi, Kathy. Hello. Kathy Austin is a speech language pathologist as well from New Hampshire in the USA, with 23 years of experience working in medical speech language pathology. And three years ago, Kathy had a stroke and has aphasia and apraxia of speech. Right. So Kathy, thank you for joining us. And it's it's really cool that you have the dual perspectives of a clinician and someone living with aphasia. Right, it's true. <laughs> so our research, um, this was the title, What Makes a Good Aphasia Research Video? And it was supported by the ARC, Aphasia Recovery Connection, and also the collaboration of aphasia trialists, which is like um, an international body of aphasia researchers. So, so this is the team and we're from all over the world, actually, Australia, um, Ireland and India, uh, Germany, Portugal, Cyprus, all over. So we worked online to do this research. So I'll give you a bit of background as to, to why we did this project. Um, as you would know, Kathy, there's lots of aphasia research published in journals and, um, and you know, long articles. Yes. So an aphasia researcher publishes all that, but for people with aphasia, they're not going to be able to make sense of that. No. <laughs> and in it's... fact, even without aphasia, most people can't make sense of the research. It's true, <laughs> but it's aphasia. It's difficult to read the words. Yes, yes, exactly. Right. Yep. Right. So we thought a, a, what's been happening lately in the last few years is that people have been making videos to explain the research, like this one. Oh. Um, and although we've been making them, uh, we're actually not sure what makes a good aphasia research video. Like. What's the best way to explain research to people? Right. So that's why we wanted to ask people with aphasia, what should be in the video? How should it be made? What do you like the best? Hmm. So for this project, we spoke to 37 people with aphasia from um, all over. Um, they were all English speaking for this project. And this is, I'll go through the questions we asked and, and how many people voted for each thing. So first of all, we wanted to know how fast to talk. Um, should it be slow, normal, or fast? And some people wanted slower speech, but actually right. most people wanted normal speech, normal speed of talking. Nobody wanted us to talk fast, so. No. <laughs> Um, but then a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people said it, it depends what you're talking about. Like, um, and I assume they meant complex things. Maybe we slow down. Right. Yeah. The next question was how long the video should be. You know, should it just be a couple of minutes? Should it be five minutes, 10 minutes longer? Hmm. And it was a bit of a mix, but most people said it depends what you're talking about. Hmm. Five minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. That sounds right depends. to you. Depends. <laughs> There's a, a, law, a long word explaining to me. It's okay. Take my time and research yeah if there's long complex terms you think it's fine to take a bit longer yes right yep it's true hmm. the next question was do people like a photo of the researchers at the start um yeah and most <laughs> people said yes yes so you, you prefer that yes yep yep well, nobody said no, but some people weren't sure, you know. 
the next question was um do you like keywords on the screen you know as it goes um and that was pretty overwhelming that yes we want keywords on the screen okay 32 people compared to two and three yeah i'm i'm not sure you're not sure <laughs> yeah yeah but sometimes it's um key words i don't know what 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 it is okay and sure unsure so um, is it is it better in a sentence or is it better with images um images okay yep so i think this did mean keywords with pictures oh okay got it yep. um and then we asked what types of images are the easiest so photographs you know like photographs of books or illustrations like clip art of books just as an example or symbols um or a mix mm -hmm. and pretty much everyone said a mix is good oh good i yeah. like uh, the way you yeah, you have um it's what it says you know sometimes in, it photographs and sometimes it's illustrations yep so you're happy yep. with the mix as well right <laughs> yeah okay so i think we got that one right <laughs> and then this question was um really interesting should someone with aphasia be part of the video and most people said yes yeah so and that's why we're trying this today with with um getting your thoughts um yes and it's good yeah um we're getting there sorry there's quite a few questions we asked people okay um should people with aphasia decide the topic of the video good uh, should people with aphasia decide the topic yeah um, the topic of the the research and the video okay so this was interesting a couple of people said yes a couple of people said no hmm. a lot of people weren't sure and then a few more said oh maybe a bit of both so maybe we should work together yes um should videos have background music Hmm. And the answer was no for most people. No. You don't think it's so? It's difficult to um the words and the sentences. It's music is stifling, you know? Yeah, okay. Right. Like it makes it hard to process the sentences, is that what you mean? Right. Turn it off and silence. Yeah. Silence right. is better. Um should we put a summary at the end so people can take a photo so instead of trying to remember it all uh, if we have a summary page people can screenshot or yeah take a photo um so that was pretty popular yeah <laughs> right <laughs> one person thought thought no but everyone else thought it was right. a good idea um should videos be in different languages yes why not Yep. It's research. Yeah. Yep. You're spot on. That's what everyone else said too, mostly. <laughs> so 25 people said, yes, put it in different languages. Why not? Yeah. Um, should videos include a list of resources? So instead of just saying, here's our research, it's like, this is what you can do, or this is what you could try. Hmm. I, I don't know yes sure but it's me that's you <laughs> because yeah I'm learning you know yeah but it's um somebody who's um a bus driver it's no you know are you saying because you're an slp yes you don't really need the resources <laughs> right 
but some right. people possibly would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've right. got a, a special advantage there. Right. <laughs> so most people said yes. Right. You know, something to to try or look at or read at the end. So this is our summary page. So people with aphasia have told us that they prefer normal talking speed most of the time, but it right. depends. Photos of the researchers. Um, keywords on the screen, but also images. Images, okay. Yep. Um, ideally someone with aphasia in the video. That's right. Um, no background music um, and a summary at the end and they prefer to be provided with some resources at the end as well. Okay. So I guess we learned that although there are some preferences, often the style also depends on the information. Right. Um, but they, we think these results are important because they'll help researchers make better videos about aphasia research. Yeah. So if, if people want to look at more aphasia friendly videos like this one or, or like the ones we're talking about, there's a CATS ARC YouTube channel, um, which has a list of them. Yeah, so thank you to all the people who were part of this study. And thanks, Kathy, for listening to it and, and talking with me about it today. Thank you.